good heavens! An object so precious and rare, coming as it does from the moon, as to be virtually priceless. Fascinating! But who, in fact, would be I've got that... it, Desmond. You'll find it, Raymond. I don't know which one it is. But, but who, in fact, would be... That's it. That, I've no idea, Raymond. But who, in fact, Found would it. be... Thank you. No, that's a bit of stone. Yeah. But who... To find it, Raymond! All right! But who, who, in fact, would be that first man to walk upon the surface of the moon? Bloody hell, Desmond! Neil Armstrong here. How can I help you, please? Hello, sir. No, sir. I'm not doing anything for the next two weeks. The first man on the moon? Yes, please. It will be an honor and a privilege. Hello, Mrs. Armstrong. I'm home. Hello, Neil Armstrong, my husband. Hello. Just in time for your TV dinner. Pastrami's on rye, eggs easy over, hash brownies, and a Julius Caesar salad. Unfortunately, I won't have time for my TV dinner, owing to the fact that I'll be away for a couple of weeks doing the moon landings. What do you mean, doing the moon landings? Because I've just been personally invited to be the first man on the moon. First man on the moon? Have as it happens, yes. Can I come? <laughs> Hardly. You're a lady. So? They don't allow ladies on the moon. Why? What do you mean, why? Who are you to say that ladies cannot walk upon the moon? Because I rule the roost in this house, so you are my wife. Oh, really? Yes, and that's an end to it. But... Now I'm off to the moon. Good, and don't come back! <laughs> <laughs> General Sir Captain Sir Neil Armstrong reporting for the moon landing, sir. Excellent. And we need two more moon men, too. Do you think of anyone in mind? Let me see. Yes, I know. I'll give them a ring immediately. Goodbye, General. Goodbye, Captain Armstrong. And good luck. Oh, shit! Desmond! Oh, shit! Oh. Hello. Can I speak to Buzz Aldrin, please? Speaking. Hello, Buzz. Hello, Neil. Hello. Are you doing anything in the next couple of weeks? No, I'm not, as it happens. Would you like to join me in the moon landing? Yes, please. See you there, then. Hello. Can I speak to Phil Collins, please? Speaking. Hello, Phil. Hello, Neil. Hello. Are you doing anything in the next... No, I'm not no, as it wait, happens. Wait, wait. Are you doing anything in the next couple of weeks? No, I'm not as it happens. Would you like to join me in yes, the... Yes, please. No, wait. Oh, what? Well, Buzz, here we are. Well, this is an, 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 an exciting achievement, isn't it, Neil? Yes, Buzz, it certainly is. So where's Collins, then? He's, um, in the bathroom. He's having a bath? No, 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 he's in the bathroom, as we say in America. All oh, right, he's having a wash. No, no. He's brushing his teeth? No, he's on the toilet, isn't he? Right. So there she is, Buzz. Yes. Welcome to the Apollo 11. Yes, the Apo Apollo 11. Listen, listen, where are you now? Where? Where are you now? What does it say on the front? No, the front of the building. Water, what? Gate, good. Right, now go inside. Yes, of course it's locked. That's the whole point of breaking in, isn't it? Right, yes, good. Right, go on, go on, yeah. Now, now, where are you now? Right, good. Now, take the tape recorder. Take it out of its box, obviously. 
Right now. Yeah, right. Yes. Now record. Plus put, put press record. But what? Well, have you plugged it in? Oh, plug it in. Yeah, quick, hurry up, quick. Now press record. Uh, the red one. The red one. Press the red. Red. Yeah. No. No. Press the red and the play together. Push them together. To... Listen. Excuse me, press Mr. The President. Two... Yes. Hello, Henry. Um, we're just about to do the taking off of the uh, Napoleon. Uh, the Apollon and uh, oh. Hello, speaking. Martin Luther King. He's doing what? Yeah, tap his phone for a start. Actually, Mr. President, we're running a little. Um... Hang on. Yes, hello. What do you mean we're losing? Vietnam. Of course we're not losing. Don't be ridiculous. May I remind you that we are the United States of. Actually, we are losing. Apparently, we are losing. Um, so what do we do? Uh, pull out. We can't pull out. We can't pull out. Don't pull out. Um, um, why can't we pull out? We can't be seen to be pulling out. We are the United States. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, um, look, I, I, I don't pull out. Uh, I pull out. Um, well, um, um, I, I, I'll get back to you, all right? We're about to have liftoff, Mr. President. All right, all right, all right. Hello, Houston. Hello, Houston. Ready for takeoff. Hello, Houston. Hello, Houston. Hello, Houston. Houston, Houston. Hello, Houston. Actually, Raymond. Well, I'm doing the talking to Houston. You're doing the talking to the Houston. Yeah. Right. I'll do the driving then. No, 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 Raymond. I'm doing the driving and doing the talking to Houston. Right. So what will I do then? Uh, do the navigating. Right. So where are we going again? The moon. Okay. Hello, Houston. Hello, Houston. Hello, Houston. Raymond. I'm doing. I'm doing the Houston. Sorry. Checks, practical. Final checks. Engines. Engines working. Boosters. Boosters are working. Um, windscreen wipers. Are working. Uh, anything else at all? Intergalactic teletransporters. Working. Alien space death ray lasers. Are working. Yeah. Klingon space warp mine probe. Are working. Right, that's enough, thank you very much, Raymond. Thank you. Hello, Houston. Hello, Houston. Whitney Houston. Hello, Whitney. Ready for countdown. Ready for countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift Are you a waiting wife? I am a waiting wife, yes. Are you a waiting wife too? I am, yes. Who's waiting wife are you then? I'm Mrs. Aldrin. Hello, Mrs. Aldrin. I'm Mrs. Armstrong. Hello, Mrs. Armstrong. Hello. Hello. Well, this is exciting, isn't it? I can hardly wait for my heroic American husband, Buzz, to return. He'll be an inspiration to all American children throughout the world. I bet you can hardly wait for your heroic American husband to return as well. Yeah. But what is it? You're looking a little bit bitter and resentful suddenly, Mrs. Armstrong. Yes, I am, actually. And I've just decided to become an anatomist for the sepitons of the seminaminators and the medical seminaminists movement. What, an active participant of the civil liberties and radical feminist movement? Yeah. So will you join me, Mrs. Robinson? Aldrin. Aldrin? But what will her husband say, Mrs. Aldrin? I'm Mrs. Armstrong. Mr. Armstrong, Mrs. Aldrin. I know. What will her husband say, Mrs. Armstrong? I couldn't care a toss, Mrs. Armstrong. No, I, I couldn't care a toss. No. Uh, uh. Hello, Neil. Oh, hello, Buzz. 
Yes. Fancy some space food at all? What have you got then, Buzz? Well, for the entree, I can do you braised rack of lamb with a medley of seasonal vegetables and Westphalian beans. Right. Seared tuna a la Castilian with wild rice and mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Or pork nazwet with prunes. Ooh. Uh, well, sounds very nice, Buzz. I think I'll uh, go for the rack of lamb, please. Very popular choice, if I may say so. Um... Actually, I think I'll give it a miss. Um, what's the put in? Morello cherry cheesecake with orange foam sauce or blackberry and hazelnut syllabub. Hmm, I think I'll go for the syllabub. OK. Uh, actually, I think I'll just have the coffee. OK. Milk and sugar. Ah, uh, yes, please. So, um, do you think Collins will be hungry at all? I'd be very surprised, to be honest. He's been in the bathroom the entire journey. Oh, time for landing. Right, so Just put on the seatbelt and no smoking sign. Roger, Roger. No, no, Kev, ow. Sorry. No, Kev, right. Raymond, no, you're right. on the... Oh, right. Raymond, no, Raymond. Oh. Ow. Kev, with you. No, the demon. Coming into land, coming into land. Hello, Houston, hello, Houston. Hello, Houston, hello, Houston. No, Houston. No, Ray, Houston. Raymond. Oh, sorry. Touchdown, touchdown. The Eagle has landed. Cabin crew standing by, please. Doors to automatic. Leave it, Raymond. Leave it, leave it, please. So we finally made it, Buzz. It's an astonishing achievement, isn't it, Neil? Yes. Oh, here goes then. Roger, Rog. Just take a photo. The first photo on the moon. Of my man. Oh, yes. How lovely. And look, I'm doing the moon bouncing on the moon. How interesting. For scientific and humorous purposes, it looks very humorous, I must say. But what's that use unfurling, if I might ask? It's the stars and the stripes, Buzz, so that the world will never forget what an absolute... Oh, that'll be the space phone. Shall I get it? If you got a moment. Roger, Rog. Hello, it's the President here. Ah. And I just want to say to you personally that we're very, very proud of you boys. And that this telephone call, in my personal view, is probably the most important telephone call ever made since the creation of the world. And it's costing me a fortune. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Yeah? What? What? Just put it... Oh, rewind it then. What do you mean? The... Have you got a tape in there? Yes, what? Vietnam. Hang on a sec, hang on. We got a plan. We thought of a plan. Hang on. What's the plan, Henry? Bomb Cambodia. Bomb Cam... Bomb Cambodia? We can't bomb Cambodia. It's an innocent country. We can't just bomb an innocent country out of the blue for no justified reason. In secret. I mean, secret. Good idea, Henry. Secretly bomb Cambodia. Hello, Mrs. Aldrin. Hello, Mrs. Armstrong. What you been doing, then? I've been thinking. What you been thinking? All my life, I've been making the beds, shopping for groceries, doing the low dusting, organising fondue evenings, and laying beside my husband night after night. And I never once asked the question, is this all there is? And is it, Mrs Aldrin? No, it bloody well isn't. So what shall we do about it, Mrs Aldrin? Fly me to the moon, Mrs Armstrong. Fly me to the moon. Wonderful world, isn't it, Buzz? It certainly is, Neil. 
How lovely is the earth, so full of life and hope and all manner of living beings. But look, I wonder what that place is, for example. That lovely green forest with all them glittering blue rivers flowing through it. Where can it be, I wonder? Hello, Grandmother. Hello, my little granddaughter. Where are you going today? I will work in the paddy fields and seed beds of my village till the rising of the moon. Then I will walk and wander through this lovely forest and fields amidst the cries of birds and all the animals. You got your chopsticks? Yes. And your little earthenware bowl? Yeah. How old are you again? Nine. Take care, my little precious little one. Of course I will, my grandmother. What woe could possibly befall upon me in this beautiful village and surrounding environs in our lovely land of Cambodia? Fair enough. Goodbye, then. Goodbye. the world. 